Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of the Battle for Astrakhazi. So, uh, we are back with the Night Gaunts again, and we have caught the uh, enemy flat-footed once again. They're trying to move all their units back to their command post. They've heard about what's happened up north um, to one of their uh, warlord neighbors, and they really, they're really they realizing that you know facing us in an open field is a bad idea. So they're trying to pull all their units back to their main base. Uh, we've caught another couple of uh, units here out in the open, so we're going to try and destroy them before they get a chance to do anything. Um, now, with the situation spoken out here, um, Rogue Tech has made a slight change to the um, the lambs. I don't know if you guys have read the um, the Discord or not, but there is a significant change to the lamb mechs, which allows you to go into ground mode or flight mode. Uh, in flight mode, you're basically zipping around as a jet, and in ground mode, you're basically a regular mech. So in air mode, you can fly over whatever, you can um, melee um, uh, flying vehicles, so like helicopters or VTOLs, you can melee them straight out, which is kind of cool. Uh, I don't know how the system works yet in-game. Um, what we had to do was put our Wasp Lamb into storage. And then bring it back and refit it because there was a lot of components on it that were no longer compatible. So we took those components that came off it and sold them because they're obsolete and you can't use them anyway. Uh, so we sold those and we, we re-outfitted it again. Now I don't know what to expect with it. I went with a, a 160 core in it. It being a 30 ton mech, it's like gives it like 5.8 movement or roughly like that on the ground. Not sure what it does for flight, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, it's got an SRM-6 and a Clan ER small laser on it. Um, so I'm hoping we can use it the same way we're kind of using the Shadowhawk in the last series where we can kind of get in behind enemies. I thought about putting the heavy rocket launcher on it, um, which would give it a 20-round uh, burst um, of 12 damage per missile, which seemed like great, but since we're actually fighting longer engagements now, um, I thought maybe going with an SRM-6 with a little more uh, ammo for long-term engagements was a better option. So, that being said, let's just get into the battle here. Um, hopefully, within the next few episodes, you'll get a chance to see that Wasp Lamb in action. Alright, let's move forward. I have no idea where the enemy is here. Position confirmed. So, we've got the Mongoose back here again. Now the mongoose has got ER large, ER medium, e and Project ER bad. small laser, and then we've got our um, our uh, striker here that we picked up in the last uh, last mission. So it's got three SRM twos and an LRM ten. So I'm hoping this guy can be All some right. pretty good support for us. All right, looks like the enemy's up here. Now also too, just want to give you guys a heads up, so the first time I loaded in this mission uh, there was actually two enemy lances, and but we had no textures, so I had to reload. Alright, so this is our missile guy. Let's get him a little bit more on the hill up here I think. This is our scout. Um, maybe into here? Coordinates received. So yeah, so I'm still, I, I'm still having some issues with um, what do we got up here? A Jenner, a Panther. So I'm still having some issues with uh, Rogue Tech and loading. So I had to re Copy like that, I had to you know download the new patch, load the game, you know close out, load the game again, um, in order to en enable all the tool tips. Then I had to drop into the mission and then leave it and redrop in again, hoping that it was going to work and not crash. So, um, it's taking a bit per, you know, each time I record to try and get things going properly. I'm sure a lot of this is going to get ironed out in the future for Rogue Tech. Um, but right now it's like, it's a little frustrating. Alright, let's just go with the LK. Yeah, we're all LK on this guy now, so I switched out the one ton of regular ammo for the all LK. Yeah, let's fire on this Jenner. All right. Receiving you. Let's get Blade in here. Um, I want to go full speed and try and get as much evasion as we can. I think I want to try and stay out of the water. Let's get across full this speed, way. No target. 
They probably got two other mechs back there somewhere. Um, okay, so I refit the kit, Fox. I pulled out... I'm trying to think now what I did between episodes. So it looks like I pulled out the Ultra 10. And I think the reason why I did that is I want to go with... Um, yeah, I think I did it because I want to go with longer... Um, Longer range firepower. I'm trying to remember why I did that now. Oh, I think it was because we lost a ton of ammo. I can't remember now. But we got the ER large, ER small, a tagger, and a total of uh, an SRM 10 on this guy. Cause I know we lost some stuff between episodes. I want to apologize. I'm, I'm still like kind of getting back into it. It's been a while since I recorded with the Night Gaunt, so. Bar starter H. Now, I know we lost stuff on the Waiting mongoose, but I had I had parts to replace stuff, so it wasn't so bad. Uh, let's get let's get up here. On the move, full speed. Want to try and deny them uh, a firing position from this side of the river or this side of the lake here. So we want to try and keep them on the land bridge if we can. We'll go after the Jenner. The Ooh, nice hits. Yeah, he's panicked. Panic level critical. Where do we hit? Oh, it was a headshot. No wonder his panic level is critical. Let's see if we can get him to bail. Um, I'm going to move... Let's go into the trees. Going to go on the Jenner again. Um... That's really lousy chances to hit, but we're still going to take it. Okay, look like the tag hit. Nice. Alright, Rose. Stay in the trees. All right. Let's just hammer this guy with everything. Alright, firing. Alright, a couple points. Couldn't get him to bail out, unfortunately, but that's all right. Panther's backing up. All right, standard Panther. SRM-4 to the PPC. Now, I don't know if they've got another guy up there anywhere. What's up, boss? Let's get you in there. Stay in the trees. Let's get on this Jenner. Let's go. Can't remember what the Kit Fox heat's like now. Is it? Uh, oh, it's not so bad. All right, let's hammer this guy. A little bit of overspill there. That's nice. So I guess their fire starter is going next. Yeah, he's backing up. Yeah, you run, buddy. Leave your buddies there to die. Okay, that's a solid line. We'll get into there. We're going to keep on this Jenner. See if we can get him to bail. He probably won't, but you never know. Nope. Still panicking, though. Standing by. Um. I think we want to maintain your, uh... Some evasion here. Do we get closer, though? We could... Oh, that's not bad. Let's move into there. That'll give us the trees, give us a little bit of cover, and give us a good side shot in this guy. Not the best chances to hit. Let's just click off the ER small. Fire the rest. Engaging target. Ooh, nice. Large laser hit. I live to serve. Do ya? Hmm. Not so good, huh? Get you a little closer. Can we get into here? We can. Let's get over here. Understood. Moving fast. All right. That's a little better. Is our vehicle? Oh, okay, our vehicle goes before the. Uh yeah, I think it was a good idea getting that extra evasion. Don't want to get hit by a PPC. I'm receiving you. Let's get right up this guy's nose if you can. How far can you go? Not that far. Alright, let's just get in the trees here. 
Just in case he gets a shot off. I got a feeling he's going to run anyway, though, but... Ooh, not bad. Just going to hang in there, though. We're just not putting out any big numbers. Are you engaging or you're running? You're running. Okay. I'm receiving you. What's the chance on this guy? 12? Ooh, that's not... That's a really good chance to hit. Let's take this guy. He's got his, his SRM 4s down, so... Let's just fire on him. Okay, not bad. Good to go. Let's get in the water. Cool off. Go down. against this panther. Maybe we can take his arm off. Gonna go with everything, of course. Firing on target. Ah. Nothing. Reporting negative damage. Looks like it's just the three of them. Commander. Hmm. Wow, what a difference that one square makes. Okay, we're in range here now. Locking in coordinates. Getting this guy's backside firing. Acknowledged. This, uh... This Jenner is holding on. See if we can finish it up here. Really bad chances to hit. Look at this thing. Alright, firing at his back. Here it comes. Wow. That's it, eh? Alright, they get one hit. Reporting. Minimal damage. We'll give it to you. Not that we have a choice, but... So that was 15. Jenner goes on 15. And we got our vehicle. And then their panther. Okay, he's still running. Turned his side to us, though. Waiting for orders. 10 4. Let's keep pushing forward. We're gonna fire on this Jenner again. See what we can get on him. We might get lucky. That's not bad. Critical hit, Commander. Couple of SRMs, a few LRMs. We'll take it. Ow. Minimum damage. This guy is nothing. Uh huh. They will be done. Twenty-two. Ten. Well. Let's close the distance a bit. See what we can get from over here. Thirty-three, that's a little better. Let's go after the panther again. Acknowledge. Yes, Commander. Okay, we're gonna walk over here, reduce our heat generation, and get rid of our stability. Uh, let's fire everything. I want to get rid of this. Actually, you know what? Let's leave the SRMs off for now. Yes. All right, let's push these guys now. Ooh, way better on this guy. Nice. Ready to get it on. Are ya? Let's do this thing. Not a lot of movement, but that's fine. 44, 30 something. It's much better on this guy, so we'll take the shot on this guy. Affirmative. 
All right, one hit. We'll take it. Not that we have a choice, but we'll take the one hit. Oof, he's starting to land. Commando? He's starting to land him. Moving at full throttle. All right, that should be good for the LRMs. Yep. There goes his arm. Reporting critical hit. MG destroyed, medium laser destroyed. Let's get on this panther. Pushes us close to the heat level, but we got to get these guys out of here. Not stressed or anything? Oh, he's panic level critical. Got something you want done? Yep. Yeah. Frig. Okay, that's better. I was going to say, there. if I go there, just don't shoot me in the back. But, you know, knowing me... That'll happen. So let's do this. Fire on this guy. I got Come on, he was panic level critical and you missed him. No joy. Yeah, I know. Orders. Let's move. Okay, firing on this guy. Okay, two nice solid laser hits. When does he go? 18? Okay, good thing you chose that guy. I mean, he's a little close for the PPC with the other guys, so... Although he's using me as a shield, so we're gonna fire on this guy. Left torso destroyed, okay. jump jet destroyed, panicked. I think we sick the um, the vehicle on him next. What's he gonna do? Is he gonna melee? Oh, he is. All right. Standing by. Let's get up here, Rose. Oof. Gonna leave that off. Cause I don't want to hit my own guy and knock him down. See ya. Enemy eliminated. Okay, we go before him, so that's good. Ready for orders. All right, let's finish this sausage up here. What do we got? Um, SRMs are garbage. Let's just turn them off. We get the two on. Sure. Target applied. Okay, tags on. Wait, how did? Oh, I see. All right, all right. Twenty was my initiative last turn. Good thing he's moving for stability. Okay, here comes some LRMs. Ooh, see ya. Farewell. There it is, folks. Mission successful. Alright, so after taking out that last lance, we decided to push forward. It looks like we run into another one up here. I guess the uh, first lance decided to call for a second lance for help. So we'll have to deal with these guys as well. Now, what actually happened <laughs> was after the battle was over and uh, I clicked uh, OK, um, it crashed to the desktop. So I had to restart the game again. So I went and played the same mission again. And we're just going to say it's a, it's another lance coming to rescue the first one. So that's what we're going to do here is we're just going to take these guys on. I want to push up and try and take as much ground as I can. Moving out. Uh, they're on that side of the hill. So I think I want to try and stay this way as best as possible. Moving to Let's position. get up there. 
Let's get up here. If we stay on this side of the hill, they won't be able to get an initial shot on us unless they have LRMs. Alright, so what are we dealing with here? Cyclone, chameleon, and a chameleon. Okay. 4B. Alright, now the cyclone. I can't remember what the heck that thing had. Um. Yes, Commander. We try and get an easy kill on these guys? I think we do. No problem. On my way. See if we can get a quick a quick takedown in this chameleon here. Look at all this. Look at all this weapons, man. Um, do we want to just go? It's got a little bit of internal damage. I mean, we could try and hit this torso. What would the uh, offensive push look like on that? That's actually not that bad. Let's go after that back torso. Run. Well, we had to take the shot. We had to take the shot at it. I don't know if we hit it or not. No, we hit the CT though. Okay. Fair enough. We might get another shot there at it go. here. And we do. Roger that. It's nice that we can keep some rocks between us and the other guys while we target the back of this one guy here. Good chances to hit. We have no OP uh, value left here, so we're just going to fire at them. Thy will be done. Moving to position. All right, let's get a shot on him. I'm good with this. Ooh, they, both of them hit. Oh yeah. Farewell, sweet prince. Good night, my friend. Good night. Now we cut the fl the cyclone flat-footed, so let's go after him. Uh, he's got three energy. Let's just hammer him. Ooh yeah. So he's gonna get to go before our vehicle. I was really hoping for actually two lances on this one. Waiting for orders. Like I got with the first uh, attempt at dropping in here. I want to continue on with this cyclone, so let's just move up here. Cyclone. Yeah. Oh, all right, we got one of them on there. Receiving you. Want to push these guys hard? I think we do. I think we want to push them hard and try to end this quick. So he's going on 19. Who else do we have? We got me on 19. Let's get into here. All right, firing this guy's back. Got a good, angle. good damage. I'm here. Can we push him back? Oh, we got somebody else on twenty. That's why. Um, let's get right up here. Hammer this guy. Not that great of damage, but we'll take it. Definitely a different play style than playing with the uh, the dragon's rejects. That's for sure. I just don't feel like we've got the. Ooh, that's interesting. So far, so good. Gets to fire everything with melee, eh? Gonna take out this cyclone. We got a chance to do it, so let's do it. Okay, good damage. PPC's gone. Nice. Light right leg destroyed. He's going down. 
Okay, that was definitely worth it. Standing by. I get you on the move. Oof. Let's just shoot it up. I think we should be able to kill him. Confirmed. Ah, we hit our own guy. Yep, he's gone down. Well, that was quick. I'm receiving you. It's really hoping for a tougher battle, but we'll take it. We shall take it. Roger. LRM's not going to do very well from this range, but uh, let's go for a pot shot in the head, see if we can get this guy to bail. All right. Failed to stand up. All right. Bonus for us. Ready for orders. Go after the head. Target's taking a critical hit. Just Rip stressed, huh? It's just stressed. Wow. Um. Well, either we kill him or we don't. There we go. That's one it for that. Let's hope for a, a non-crash on this one. Mission successful. All right, we managed to make it through that time. Okay, let's see. Take a look here. Um, uh, two chameleon parts. It's 50 tons, so we're going to go ahead and take it. Um, and nothing. Wow. Really nothing, eh? Alright. What can we sell here? Sell the smalls, the basic cockpits. We got a bunch of jump jets, right? Yeah. Basic sensors can go. All right. All right, guys. So after those last two uh, missions, we've moved back to the uh, repair and refit base we've dis we've established here in the, in the uh, Warlord's territory. And it looks like the Warlord has decided to uh, get a little bit of an attack going. So um, it looks like we have to uh, defend our forward opera operations base here as best we can. Now, there was a... There's a, a unit over here we got to be wary of. Uh, why can't we sprint? Ooh, are we accidentally landed on that uh, tower? Okay. Let's get over here. See if we can get some sensors on, see where we can see what the enemy is. I have no idea here where to expect the enemy from. So that command radius, yeah, they're right here. Commando. Waiting for orders. Get right up on this guy. See if we can pick up any more of them here. No, we're just seeing the one. All right, let's hammer this guy. Standing by. Same thing. Let's get up on this guy. I'm already there. See if we can spot anybody else over here. Still quiet. I thought there was more guys though. Okay, there goes the arm. Inflicted some heavy damage. Can we get to this guy? Oh, we can. Let's just hope we don't shoot our own guys in the back. Firing. Left leg destroyed, torso gone. Oh, shit. Yes. Oh, we got somebody else down here, though. 
Ignis SRM. So I wonder if that was the first guy that shot. I have no idea. Um, plus, I have no idea if there's any other guys around here. This is going to be an interesting fight. All right, Rose. Let's get you on this side. Let's have a look and see if we can pick anybody up over here. I doubt it, but... Christ, you're a bad driver. I know we just captured this base a little while ago, but you, you know, you don't need to wreck it right now. Wreck it after we're done with it. Ooh, okay. That's not good. That was a pair of large lasers. Receiving you. Uh, we gotta make sure we can see whatever this is. Um, let's get in the water. Full speed, no targets. Okay, this is a wasp. Ignis SRM. Cloudbuster AA tank. Alright. That looks like the trouble right there. Two energy. Probably flamers and SRMs. So let's go after this guy. I copy. Okay, good damage. I'm receiving you. Uh, let's get Ready slingshot forward. down here too. Confirmed. Hammer this guy. What do we get? Of course, we got the front and a bit of the side. Okay, good damage. I'm ready. Can we get a? We can get a line of sight on that guy. Perfect. On the way. Double time. Let's see if we can finish him up with missiles. I'm really hoping we can hit him. How's he doing? We have no idea. Okay, that pen. There we go. Alright, problem one solved. I have become death. You have. So I don't think... What's the pirate wasp? What do we just got on him? Okay. I think that's rock... Is it rocket packs? No, it's not rocket packs, is it? Okay, our turrets are up. As you knock a whole bunch of buildings over to get them up and running. Okay, let's move into here. We'll just fire on whoever is easiest to hit. I have no preference between these two guys. So, energy and missile. There's our, uh, there's our target right there. Ooh, see ya. He had a lot of armor, but not, not quite enough. So, it seemed like, well, from the, the handful of comments that we did get on the last episode, about uh, the vehicles. It seems like the people Pinball. seem to enjoy the uh, vehicle fight, so um, definitely the militia are going to be seeing a uh, another uh, episode or two for sure. I might play them offline for a bit too to see if we can get uh, better vehicles and things. We'll bring them up to, to snuff with same with these, uh, at the same par as our main lances as we go along. But they will definitely be making appearances here and there. I've, I found it kind of fun. I actually played an offline match with, with an elemental start. And that's an interesting playthrough. I was worried about not being able to survive with elementals. So I took the start where the pilot gets a random hunchback. And it was a good thing I did too because the, um, the start is very, very difficult with elementals because you don't move very far. Standing by. Right? The movement is like very, very short. Affirmative. Okay, this is the turn where they get their reinforcements, I think. So we have to worry about where they're coming in. Engaging. Ooh, that looked like a head hit. Was it? Nope. Torso. Orders. Yeah, so the elemental start was kind of interesting because I was thinking about, you know, 
playing with the Lance of Elementals as a supporting unit for these guys. Copy that. But the gameplay is so long because the Elementals don't move very far. They actually jump farther than they, they, they run. So... Yes, Commander. Let's just stay back here. Um, so it was really, really difficult in the playthrough. Not the playthrough, but the few matches that I did play, it was very, very long and boring. It'd be nice if the elementals could ride on battle mechs, because then you can get them into battle a heck of a lot faster. I think that would make a difference, but they, you can't transport them on battle mechs, unfortunately, so... It's kind of, um... You know, what you can tolerate, I guess. If you can tolerate the... The slower playthrough, then, you know, it's kind of worth it, but if you if you can't tolerate how slow it is, then I don't do it. Because even with the Hunchback in there as additional firepower, it took quite a while to, to take out all the enemies. Um, oof, we're heating up pretty fast here. Let's go with SRMs. Nice. Okay, we got some guys off to the left. They're heading your way. Oh, they could all be over here. Nope. There's a dropship down here too. Oh, of course, they're on the opposite side. We got a Jenner, a Rocket Techie, which we should probably kill fast, Bradford, and then there's mechs over here for for sure. So, what's up, boss? We're not gonna get a a, a shot early on. High tailing it. So we're gonna move as fast as we can. Turn one. Ready for orders. But yeah, the I mean, let me know what you guys think. If you guys want me to play the, an elemental battle, because I was gonna oh. say that you know, with uh, the, I mean, if it was a cannon playthrough, what's this guy, Anubis? Um, we definitely would not have a. Um, that nah, makes me wish I had a minefield now. We definitely would not have a uh, an elemental unit. There's no way they would leave. Clint, a swordsman. Ooh, God, they got some tough guys over here. Loaded. Nah, I just thought I'd try. But yeah, if you guys want me to play an elemental playthrough, yeah, I'll do it, no problem. Receive. I'll show you what it's like. I can just go and stay in the water. No we'll drop Jump all our running. heat this turn, I think. Yeah. Um, because it's not... I mean, I guess it really depends on the on the fight, but it's not really um, all that exciting, I guess. It's difficult. Don't get me wrong; it's a difficult fight. You got to be fighting half skull missions for quite a while. But let's face it: you're not going to get to like three skull missions just using elementals. There's no way. It doesn't matter how good your pilots are. The elementals just don't. You you won't get equipment to outfit the elementals with, and. I mean, it's not, it's not bad as a, as a fun start to see where you can get with it, but you're going to need battle mechs anyway, so, you know. The one thing I don't know is if elementals can go in vehicle slots. It's actually an interesting question, because they are technically battle mechs. So, I guess maybe they, I guess you can't load them in the two, into the two vehicle slots, which would be, it'd be nice if you could. It'd be nice to have a supporting group of elementals. Like, you know, four mechs and two elementals. That, I could see being worth it. I could tell- oh good, the rocket techie's expanding his rockets on a turret. That's a bonus. We're not going to be able to move very fast here, but we'll go as far as we can. So yeah, I mean, it'd be kind of interesting, I think. But let me know, if you want me to- if you want me to do that, I can certainly do that. I think I still have that playthrough, so i probably use the guys that I already have. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I just do a, a whole start so you can see what it looks like. Commander? Alright, Rose. Um, what do we got back here? Another rocket techie. Um, okay, we can get a line of sight on him from over here. I'll leave the mechs to the mechs to see if we... Ah, oh, man, really? 1.2 on that techie. 2.9 on the Jenner. 4.7 on a Toro. 
large Toronto laser and a pair of... I have a lot of armor. AC5 pirate. 4.7. It's far in the clint. Yeah. I don't think we would hit the rocket techie anyway, so... If we can get four points now, we might as well take it. So they can take down four of our buildings, so... I don't know, they got a lot of guys. Half decent, half decent weight too. Might might be nice to pick up a Clint off this too, if we can get an artillery piece into the mix with these guys, that might be nice. I was thinking about maybe getting another vehicle so we could have two vehicles running, but... I don't know, it depends. I don't know if that, uh... The Chaparral AA vehicle, I don't know if they bailed or we destroyed it. Because that might be worth it. Ooh, okay. Nice. Ready for orders. Anubis has to go first if we can get eyes on him from anywhere. No, we can't. We're a whole other turn away here. Acknowledged. We're a whole other turn away. I live to serve. Kind of sucky. Oh, not for everybody though. We can get a shot at the rocket techie. He's still got some rockets left, so it might be worth trying. The Anubis right is now. the guy that we got to worry about. He's got all the stealth gear, right? Ooh, got a little bit of a hill. All right, all right. That's all right. 19%, that ain't bad. 17 on him. 27 on the Jenner. Thirty-three. Ooh. Grenade launcher Thunderbolt fifteen. Yikes. This guy's barely got any armor though. He's got rocket packs. So I think he's got four more shots in each of those. So let's go after him. Alright, not a lot of damage, but we applied some. Oof, can we yeah, we're still too far away. Let's get along the road here. These guys are more dangerous right now because they're closer, I think. Let's get up as fast as we can over here. Get some hardcore firepower yeah, if we can get it up there. Ooh, I'm so glad this mongoose is fast. I copy. Got a lot of firepower too for like a 25-ton <laughs> mech. All right, let's get you back over here, too. Don't get too far away. If you get too far away, then uh, you're just going to get killed. I'm going to go after this guy. Ooh, okay. Nice. He's in fire, so he should take a bit of damage when he moves. Yeah, you keep fire on that guy. So the HQ vehicle, I'm interested. I think this thing has got... I don't know what it's got. Large laser turret systems. It doesn't I don't think it really says. It's got an active probe. Okay. So who's that circle? That's the Jenner. Is the Jenner running an active probe as well? No idea. Because normally it's got four medium lasers, doesn't it? It's got some kind of ECM gear, I think. This guy's moonwalking it. I mean, I know you're a Michael Jackson fan, as a, most people are, but... I'm not, but I mean, a lot of people are. Wow. What did you knock down? Ooh, nice. Oh, well, that Jenner's super heated, too. I think the other thing, too, is with the other Lance that we have, um, they've got a wider variety, like more flexibility. they got Inferno ammo and things like that. We really don't have that with this Lance. Like, I don't have the, I don't have the ammo type, right, to be able to load in a ton of Inferno and a ton of 
you know, regular ammo. I've just got like regular and then the LK for the LRMs and that's it. So once we start getting a few more um, like acid ammo and things like that, things will change I think a little bit. And that plus once we get like another heavier mech or something. Because the Kit Fox is what? 45 or f is it 40? 35? It's 35 I think. Mongoose is 25. 45 in the uh, for the Griffin and the um, Miss Lynx is like 25 or 30. So we're running mostly light mechs. Yeah, we're going to just get right in there and just wreck those guys. Yeah, kill them. Come on. Ah. All right, who do we got here? Commander. All right, Blade. Let's not get in their uh, circles there. Circles of doom. We can get a side shot on the uh, Anubis from here. Wonder if it's worth it. What's the chance? Uh, it's actually not that bad. In the previous fights I've had against Anubi, they've been uh, a lot tougher to hit. But I guess if we stay outside we, we normally close with them, I think that's the big problem. We stay outside the radius here, we should be fine. Tagger, 65, that's a good chance to hit. Fire. Nice, the big one hits. Tagged, beautiful. I'm your spaniel. Are ya? Let's move this way. Acknowledged. Get a side shot in that Anubis. Only got eight rounds of firing left with the LRMs. So Fist of Dorn was talking about the Clint the Cobra strike. from a few episodes back um, and it took uh, a fair bit of damage and he was mentioning that maybe we should look at up armoring it. I already have. I have up armored that sucker. Um, what I did is I took the ferro fibers that we got and the endo steel that we had and I dropped it in the thing. Uh, which gave us a bunch of, of uh, extra weight, so I dropped in the, um, or I filled up the filled up the uh, armor as best I could on it, which is it's actually respectable now, and I added an extra medium laser. So if we get pushed again by like a wasp or a locust or whatever, we've got a pair of medium lasers we can at least do something in close in, because we're obviously not going to be doing an artillery strike like point blank for sure, so. It's going to give it a bit more um, sustainability, I think, which is good. And I still haven't decided on the... Uh, oh yeah, you stay heated up, buddy. I still haven't decided on the... Um, the Hetzer yet. Whether I want to keep it or get rid of it. I mean, it's, it's a great vehicle, as long as it can hit. If it can't hit, then... You know. It did okay in the last battle with some low percentages, but still, it's like... It's the low percentages you're worried about, right? If it's consistently getting low, low percentages chance to hit, then most of the time it's just not going to hit, right? So, all right, not bad. Not bad. Maybe our towers can finish them up. How close are these guys getting? They're still a good distance. That rocket techie hasn't really moved. Yeah, you back up. Oh, he's turning his other torso. Okay, got one laser on us. Reporting minor damage. Yep. I saw that. You need to get in front of this guy to see if we can take that torso off of him. I don't know where that landed. Oof. Ooh, he's hurting. I'm here. What do you think, Rose? Can you get around the front of him? I don't think that's the front. That's the side, I think. You can get a shot on him, though. Copy Let's get right happen. in there. Let's keep the pressure on him. It's going to be hard to hit because I think we're inside their... Uh... Oh, no, we're outside. Oh, we're inside the Jenner's circle. 12% in this guy. But well, we're taking it. 
It's the wrong side to be shooting, I know, but I'm hoping that we can start causing panic in this guy. Got six rounds left after, well, five after this one. Good thing that guy's a terrible thunderbolt shot. Reporting. Minimal damage. damage. The illumination was the mortar. Yeah, I think if, even if those guys were like standing right here, they don't have enough juice to take these buildings down in time. They might, but I don't know. Mobile HQ is doing pretty good though. Well, it absorbs the rocket techie, so that's fine with me. Ooh, thank you. Well, thank you very much. All right. Oh, inferno ammo. Cool. Oh, they knocked out his uh, C3 unit. See ya. Orders. All right. Let's see if we can get this Anubis. We really got to get in front of him. Is there any place we can get a direct frontal shot in this guy? Only from point blank, eh? How are you doing? You've got a severe torso hit here on that side. So let's start moving towards the other enemy. Roger. We'll get across here. We'll use what we can on this Jenner. Yeah, we're going to overheat. Uh, what if we drop the medium? Not the small. No, the medium's got to go. It's the best chance to hit, though. But let's go this route. Okay, large hit, that's the most important. Ready to get it on. Blade. What a great movie. That first Blade movie, man, it was like just incredible. Yeah, let's do this. Yes. Feel the burn. Two or three health, he's going down. One or three health. Come on, bailout. Oh, he resisted the, resisted the injury. I will be done. He resisted the injury. Interesting. Let's just move I'm over going. here. Gonna save some ammo. Just gonna go with the core on this guy and drop the LRMs for now. Locking target. Nice. One left target. Okay, we got two guys left on this side. Wonder if I should shift my focus now. We wanted the Clint, right? Although the Anubis has got some good gear in it, though. But we can handle. We got well. We got what? Three rounds left. Two rounds left after this one. I don't know. Yeesh! That was a bad move. Should have stayed on those guys. Crap. All right. Well, we'll fire at the Clint. Crap. Dumb idea. Should have gone out there with the Anubis. But I think we'll get him anyway. Not that worried. Standing by. Got it. Full speed, that no oh, we got a target. He's right here. He's right here. Fire it hole. No point in conserving ammo. We've only got, what, three rounds left? Two rounds? Eight, nine, and ten, right? Yeah, three more. Three more! She's getting some pretty good speed, though. At 17, that's pretty good for a vehicle. I wonder if the mobile HQ is actually helping out. What are you doing? Should we get the miss links, eh? Well, you've exposed your side now, so... I don't know if this guy's running XL or not. Might be able to burn through the side real quick. If he's got an XL, we can take him down. Because he doesn't have much left on his right. 
Right? Left? Right? What side is it? Right side. Right? Yeah. Freaking Thunderbolt. Where are you going? Up the hill a bit, I guess? Yeah, they gotta go all in on these buildings if they're gonna lose. Cool looking mech, but unfortunately he's firing lasers, so I'm not... <laughs> I don't know what that's all about. Oh, who is that? Oh, that was the guy they just shot. Toro. Ooh, he's got one one health left. How does that work? Well, maybe the overheating damaged the pilot. That is a possibility. Got something you want done? Um, you're super hot. Let's just get into here. My way. And let's go like this. Firing on target. Oh, that's it? Dude. Commander? You effed me, dude. I still think we got enough on that Fur. side. This pilot's only got one health left, so... I want to take a pot shot at this guy's head. way too much. Just gonna go with one. Copy that. Ooh. Was that? Oh, that's a CT probably. Was it? Yeah, it was a CT. Yes, Commander. Mmm, here. This should do it. Yep. Yeah, run the XL. Hostile eliminated. Run in the XL. That kind of shit gets you killed. Alright, let's sprint in as far as we can go. But not in the water. They get better sensors if we're in the water. Let's go after this guy. Go for the headshot. We might get lucky. Otherwise we just core him. That's fine. Fine with that. I'm fine with that. We do have some options for salvage. Ooh. Mobile HQ dealing out some damage, baby. Don't go through the fire, though. I think we leave this Bradford alone. Waiting for orders. Roger, Skipper. Kicking in. I don't think it's really that much of a threat right now. I know it's got the um, Thunderbolt, but I really want the Clint parts. Roger. Yeah, a couple points. We wouldn't have been able to kill the Bradford anyway. Ooh. Oh, I paid for that, didn't I? What do we we lost LRMs? Clan LRMs. That's really bad. That's really bad. Aye aye. F me. Should have left it alone. Damn it. This target's taking a critical hit. Orders? We lost one LRM. Still, though, that's a lot of firepower we lost. 
get out of his, well, let's sprint out of his direct line of sight if we can. Let's get over here. Going full throttle. Yeah, you just get the frig away from that guy, please. Drop our instability as best we can and we'll just fire at this guy. Uh, let's leave the medium laser off. I, th I think we lost clan heat sinks too. That's really bad. Engaging target. Ah. Two steps forward, one step back. Whatever. I knew our clan gear was going to start to go. Just didn't think it would happen this early on. Okay, right torso destroyed? Inst unstable? Yes, Commander. I got That'll give me the side of the Clint, I think. We should be able to dump everything on him. I think the SRMs are still in range. Uh, no they're not. Weird that the clan ER small would be in range, but these guys won't be. Oh well. Ooh, the large hit though, that's the important thing. I'm receiving you. Um you gotta go here. I don't wanna shoot my own guy in the back. I know it's only a few points damage, but still it's like Accidentally hitting vital components would be bad. We might be able to knock this guy down. Fire Not quite. Oh, we bailed though. Just as good. Just as good. Is that the Bradford or was that the uh, HQ? That was the HQ, right? Yeah. Drive through the fire. Oh, we got one round left. They don't got the juice to do much up here, I don't think. I can't believe that guy hit with the, uh, direct fire arrow. It's a lot of damage, man. Ooh, good shots. Come on, finish him up. Nice. All right, last turn, guys. See if we can get yes, this done. Commander. Let's get this done. All right, we can't see the swordsman. Acknowledged. I wonder if that rocket techie even has anything. Oh, he does. He has everything functional, but I don't know why he's not shooting. Confirmed. Well, he's dead now. <laughs> Look at the... <laughs> He's floating in the air. Oh, brilliant. Do I shoot at the... You know what? No. Oh, F it. Just shoot at him. Good to go. Can you get line of sight in this guy? You can. Aye, aye. Let's try and get some payback. The clan LRM5 is irreplaceable. Engaging. Target. Ooh, nice. Yes, payback. Enemy vehicle destroyed. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, wait. What? What? Oh, there we go. Let's see if we can get lucky and kill this guy. Unbloody likely, but you never know. Got lots of armor. Not that much in the head. Let's just shoot him. Looks like he's running an XL. Commander? XL gyro. Can we get a direct line of sight? We cannot. No point in moving then. Copy that, Commander. All right, not bad. Come on, turrets. 
Ooh, okay. Trade off and some damage. Maybe we shouldn't have moved in, but you never know if you're going to get lucky on them. Ooh, some good hits. That's it. Mission successful. All right, we got some good payment, which is good because we'll be able to make our uh, end of the month uh, payment. But um, let's just see what we've got here to pick up. <sighs> Two parts of the Clint. Two parts of Cloudbuster. Ooh, but we do have... Two large and two machine guns. We do have a part available for that. We don't have for the Clint. Oh wait, is there three Anubis parts? There is. What is this guy running again? Minus 15% signature. Plus one local ECM. That's kind of cool. Plus one defense. So it's got extended torso twist. Um, four... LRM-5 launchers in an ER small. 30 tons, though. Um, wait, how is it possible that he's got four LRM-5 launchers when he's got... This guy's got four lasers. One ballistic and four laser hard points. Primary weapons are that, but I guess it doesn't. I guess this variant is different. It doesn't say what it is though. Um, all right. There is the Ignis. Ooh, cargo truck. Yeah. <laughs> yes, totally go for that. Twenty ton Wasp is no good. Handheld MRM ten. Now we ran with this last season too. It's actually not a bad weapon to have. It's got, what, 10 turns of firing, 5 damage times 10 shots per. Minus 1 accuracy, but still it's like 0 heat, right? It's just like a free weapon. 0 tons. Thunderbolt 15 is sitting here. 9 tons. We don't have anything to put it on, though. Advanced Optics Mark 1. Yeah, plus one accuracy to 540. That's a really good find. Because those things are expensive to buy. We don't need this. Because we've got endo steel too, right? No, we don't have any endo left. It's all right, though. Um, bar control system flak. That's kind of cool. Plus two evasion pips and nor 20% chance till the critical hits. Minus one recoil. Um... Yeah, I don't know. Laser insulator. Minus 3 heat per turn, minus 5% heat generated by lasers. Must be installed in a location with a laser. Ah, oh, man, there's so much good stuff here. Well, prototype double heat sinks. Who was running the proto? Was it the Anubis, maybe? Oh, it makes me want to choose the Anubis now. I don't know if that was the guy that was running all the good stuff. Spall liner. UAV and then ammo. Inferno ammo, which would be nice. The TBM-15 is just too much weight, unfortunately. We can't outfit it to a vehicle because we can't outfit vehicles. Okay, let's just take the Anubis and hope all the good stuff was on this guy. I have a feeling that's probably the case. Because it really is the most adva advanced mech of the bunch, even though we can't see what it is here. And then we just hope for a good roll when assembling it. Alright, so what do we get? Bradford piece, Jenner piece, a couple of cargo truck pieces, a Toro piece. Machine gun ammo we don't need. We'll hang on to the case. Ooh, prototype double heat sink, spall liner, TSM, SRM ammo, and TBM-15 ammo. Okay, that's not that bad. All right, let's check out that Anubis. What I'm more worried about, though, is refitting this uh, Mist Lynx. Now, it is 25 tons, so, I mean, we could refit the... Uh, 
the Anubis to replace this guy. Let's just have a look here. Storage. Where's the Anubis? Here we go. That mech you wanted is back on. All right, let's check it out here. All right. Doesn't look like we got much off this guy. I wasn't expecting much though. Oof, we got killed. We got killed with that choice. It did have the advanced optics. Had the UAV. Well. What are we getting back? Nothing. Nothing. It's got four laser points. Armor's not so bad, though. I mean, we could run an AMS on this guy, too. Although it does come with a Guardian ECM built right into this thing. Oh, man. 288,000 to fix it. Um, I don't know. Is it worth it? Let's leave it for now. We'll see how things go. I might, I might outfit it. I might not. That's kind of a pain. I gotta figure out what to do with the mislinks, though. But for now, I'm gonna end this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see y'all later.